from Jim Henson Muppet Stories, Kermit's all-time favorites. Far Out Talent by Richard Chavat, illustrated by Richard Walls. It was almost showtime at the Muppet Theater. The singing chickens were warming up, the juggling hippos were practicing, and Fozzie was trying out his new jokes. Kermit, Kermit, hold everything! Scooter came running in looking very excited. What's wrong? Kermit asked impatiently. Did the penguins forget their bow ties again? No, no, Scooter cried. Creatures from outer space had landed. Creatures from outer space, Kermit said nervously. Are they here to invade Earth? I don't think so, said Scooter. They look pretty friendly. Everyone gathered as a group of six strange-looking space creatures appeared backstage. No one had ever seen anything like them. They each had three arms, five green eyes, and bright orange fur. But the strangest of all were the small propellers on the top of their heads. One of the space creatures stepped forward. The propeller on his head started to spin, and soon he was floating a few inches off the floor. Hello, green creature. The floating space visitor said to Kermit, Kermit! said Gonzo excitedly. They are great! Maybe we could put them in the show! Kermit thought for a few seconds. Gee, I don't know, he said, turning to the aliens. Do you guys have an act? What is an axe? The creature asked in its weird voice. You know, explained Kermit, something to do on stage. Do you dance? Dance. What is dance? asked the space being as he slowly... Circled, flew around Kermit. Hey, I have an idea. Gonzo said, you can sing with the singing chickens. Zing. We know zing. All the aliens said sadly. Then they, too, rose up into the air. Maybe they play music, suggested Rolf. No, musics, they replied. While they floated around the room. How about telling jokes, said Fozzie. Did you hear the one about the two Martians? They wanted to stay overnight on the moon, but they couldn't because the moon was full. Get it? A full moon? Waka waka. Hmm. Jokes. Jokes. No, we know no jokes, said the first creature. He was so sad that his teeth almost touched the ground. I'm sorry, said Kermit, but you don't sing, dance, play music, or tell jokes. I just don't know what we... Could do, you could do in the show. We have no axe. The aliens agreed. We go home. And slowly they flew out the door. Gee, too bad, said Gonzo. They seem like nice space creatures. Yeah, Fozzie nodded. I wish they did something besides fly around all the time. Yeah, added Kermit. They sure did fly a lot. Suddenly, he had an idea. Hey, they can fly. That would be a great act. Scooter, go catch them quick. Soon the space creatures were on stage, flying around and doing flips and rolls in the air. The audience cheered and applauded. You guys can perform here every night, Kermit said to them after the show. No, thanks, said the alien leader. We must go now. But why? asked Kermit. We, you were great. No can stay, explained the creature as he floated through the door. Must return to our fa planet with valuable discovery. Jokes! Did you hear the one about the two Martians? Goodbye! Everyone shouted as the spaceship took off and flew away. Come back soon, called Kermit. We really loved your axe. The end.